Good afternoon from the Imagination booth at Embedded World in Nuremberg. I'm Rich Nass with Open Systems Media, and I'm here with Bryce Johnstone of Imagination Technologies. Good afternoon, Bryce. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, Imagination um, made its name into graphics and things like that, and you guys are into some really cool technologies that I frankly wasn't aware of until I got here at the show. So I'd love for you to explain some of the different places that you guys are showing up. Okay, so we're, we're basically in um, three main product areas. Uh, the first one is the one you probably know more about, which is uh, Power VR. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, various uh, iPhones and iPads mm -hmm. have this kind of technology in them. Um, and then the other areas are uh, MIPS. We bought uh, MIPS um, technology about two and a half years ago. And so that's that's taken us into the world of embedded and the ability to go and address the uh, the CPU, which was a bit of a big hole in our portfolio. And then the other area is in the connectivity. So we have a, an organization called Insigma. It's a company we bought, bought about maybe uh, 12, 13 years ago, uh, integrated it. And that does things like Wi-Fi and, uh, and Bluetooth and also some GNSS. Okay, now let's talk about some of the verticals that that puts you into, such as automotive. Yeah, um, automotive, very interesting area for us. I mean. Our, our sort of uh, key one is probably um, cellular, you know, again, in, in uh, handsets, in tablets. Um, but automotive is coming through very strongly. You know, we've, we've recently had a, uh, an internal review and automotive is the hot area or one of the hot areas. Um, you know, we're big traditionally in things like networking. We're big traditionally in um, set-top box. Um, and uh, we're also looking at the, you know, the IoT world. I IoT is this huge, great, monstrous, um, an area which is like about 10,000 subsegments, so massive opportunities there for uh, for MIPS. Okay, so going back to automotive, where specifically would would, would we find you in an automobile? Um, well, two main areas. Um, one, we've uh, we've been very successful in uh, called ADAS products, so that's driver assist uh, products, and we've actually we're now in the third generation um, in production of uh, mobile I IQ devices. So we've been IQ2, IQ3, IQ4. And uh, those devices are um, enabling um, things like detection of pedestrian, detection of distance to car. And what it does is it can give you a warning to actually you know, get out of the way, put your brakes on, or it can actually do active um, uh, ADAS, which will actually put the brakes on for you or move you into a safe lane. So ADAS is, is a huge growth area in the market. You know, uh, We're going from cars today that can do things like uh, automatic cruise control and automatic emergency braking, all the way up to the fully autonomous driving. And that's, you know, uh, MIPS is uh, involved in that and also graphics is involved in that heavily. And uh, the, on the graphics side, it's more uh, what we call GPU compute. Okay, so GPU compute is using the graphics processor as a compute engine, big parallel compute engine. And um, you've got these very complex, um, highly parallel algorithms that are running there uh, for ADAS functions that um, the GPU is very, very suited for. On the other side, we've got, uh, right behind us here, we've got a um, what our graphics can do. So we've got these three screens here that are each uh, running off one GPU. So people are coming up to the booth sort of saying, you know, how many GPUs do you have in there? It's like, no, we've got one, we can schedule it, and we can schedule it so you get a certain frame rate on, on, uh, on each one. Um, so yeah, it's a you know, very, very exciting area as automotive at the moment. That's awesome, so where would somebody go to find more information? To find more information, uh, they can go on to www.imgtech.com, that's T-E-C, not T-E-C-H. Um, and uh, there's, you know, we, we do th split things by segment, by product line, and uh, there's loads of information there. And take a look at the blog as well, there's some very, very good articles in there. Thank you, Bryce.